Hi there, my name is Marcus White and I want to tell you a little story. Once upon a time there was a dentist and what he did to diagnose a problem is he got his dental mirror out, waved it around a wee bit uh, and wiped the mist off with some spit on the inside of the cheek uh, and that's how he diagnosed every dental problem there was on the back of a little mirror the size of a coin. The first thing that happens in my practice in the digital age is not that the mirror comes out, it's that the scan is on screen. I bring up the patient's data. It's visual. What does that mean? It means that you don't have to rely on black and white words to get an idea across. You don't have to rely on black and white words to show a patient their problem because they see it in color on screen in real time. Too many times I've shown patients an x-ray on a screen that just looks like black and white fuzz. You know, I've said this, can you see that cavity on screen? They go, no. But with a color 3D image, patients brought into that conversation um, and we can treatment plan together. They can understand the value in the problem we're going to solve. They can understand the care we're taking. It makes the invisible visible. So it completely changes how I am as a dentist and I could not imagine going back. So if you're still using 20th century tools to try and show your patients things they can't see, then imagine what you could do with a scanner. So once I've taken that one scan, that enables the following things to happen. And what Itero have done quite smartly is they've created one circle with little pathways that bounce off it. And they show every thought process that we have internally and show it externally. So occlusion, gingival health, tooth position, early caries detection. It's like a computerized diagnostic system that's on screen for the patient and me to see and understand. As we all know, an image says a thousand words, so a scan says a million in an instant. And the patient can see all their issues with you on screen. And also, it leaves a digital footprint. What do I mean by that? That record, that scan is kept in the cloud forever. So it's now a page in a history book that you can connect with and relate with the patient as they progress and as their relationship with you and the practice evolves. So that means that I can see changes happening. I'm not smart enough to remember whether a tooth has worn. I'm not smart enough to know if recession has increased, if inflammation has progressed or improved, but ITRO time-lapse is. So what is time-lapse? Time-lapse is a comparison, a clinical comparison of one point in time with another. Let me tell you a little story that'll hopefully bring time-lapse to, to life for you. Patient comes in, standardized checkup, we call it the digital health assessment. Uh, we take a scan and we carry out time-lapse which compares last year's checkup with this year's checkup. What that shows is a change. So anything different on time-lapse shows up red. Red is bad, red means danger. So when the patient sees that, they're like, what's going on there? Why, why is that bit of my tooth red? And we have a look and we see that he's, he had a little fracture on his lower incisor. He goes, yeah, I did see that. Um, and I didn't know, you know, if we should do something about it. So in that instant, the patient sees the problem and asks for a solution. Uh, and I'm not smart enough to remember whether that fracture was fresh or old, but the scan tells me and it shows the patient that something needs doing. And that's powerful. And did you also know that that same scanner that we're using for greater accuracy and efficiency can also use near infrared technology to help you diagnose early caries better in that same cohort of patients that you have concerns over. So another tool in the uh, Align Oral Health Suite is the occlusogram, or as I call it, the occlusal heat map. And that's because a range of rainbow colors showcases to you and the patient in real time where the high spots are in a patient's occlusion. Now we all know how complex occlusion is and yet we also know that we have an overly simplistic tool to assess it. Now a piece of blue paper in a set of tweezers is not, is not good enough for me, patients can't see it and it really doesn't highlight the complexity of what we're trying to assess and diagnose. But the occlusal heat map is instant and shows patients where they have a high spot. I've loved little personal stories where a patient's come in on a new set of restorations and says, this one's clashing. Uh, and we scan and it shows them that they weren't making it up. And, and I now replace the blue piece of paper with the occlusal heat map because it's far more complex and far more visual for everyone concerned. So I really hope I've given a compelling reason why you should become digital and how you can be the better dentist you want to be with these tools. And from the minute you do, your patients will relate with you better, see their problems better, believe in their solutions better. Please join us on that journey.